Hi, I'm Krista Watson, and I'm so excited to tell you all about my brand new book called How Do I Quilt It? from CNT Stash Publications. This book is basically the hands-on version of my lecture that I've been teaching for the last few years of the same name. My specialty is teaching home machine quilters how to quilt big quilts and have success doing it. It's all about prepping the quilt, making a quilting plan, and breaking down the process into manageable steps. Each of the three quilt patterns shown in the book is quilted three different ways, with a walking foot, free motion techniques, or using both to create a beautiful custom quilt. I've also included bonus colorways, plus lots of tips and tricks on choosing fabrics, how to deal with your batting, and even some finishing techniques. I'm basically giving you all the tips and tools you'll need to have success. There's even a gallery of extra machine quilting designs that you can mix and match so you'll have success no matter which design you choose. There's endless possibilities. So now I'm pleased to show you a virtual trunk show of all nine quilts from the book. I sure hope you enjoy them. Here's a beauty shot of all three versions of Daisy Chain, the first pattern included in the book. At 90 inches by 90 inches, it's quite a big quilt, but you'll have no problems quilting it when you follow my step-by-step -step instructions. For the walking foot quilting plan, I teach you how to quilt random straight lines diagonally across the quilt. You'll learn easy ways to mark the quilt, and I even give you permission to ditch the marking altogether and quilt organically and imperfectly instead. The all over free motion design I chose for Daisy Chain is called Doodle Flowers. And the best part is this design really helps hide any imperfections in your piecing. Simply quilt a loop or flower anywhere you don't want your seams to show and no one's ever gonna know. The custom quilting plan is called Chain Links. You'll quilt straight lines to anchor and secure the quilt first, then you'll fill in the blocks and background with several different free motion motifs. You can follow along the designs that I show in the pattern, or you can refer to the machine quilting gallery to pick and choose your favorite designs. You can mix and match them to your heart's content. The second quilt pattern is called Loose Weave, and it's shown in three different colorways. Fabric selection is easy. Just use your favorite colors along with a contrasting background and you'll stitch this quilt top in a hurry. For the walking foot quilting plan, you'll practice dividing and conquering, stitching in the ditch in a few key areas of the quilt, and then filling in the design with more straight lines in both directions. The hardest part about quilting this design is knowing when to stop. For the continuous free motion plan, you'll learn to quilt circuit board, one of my modern geometric designs that pair nicely with the minimalist vibe of this quilt. Of course, you can pick from dozens of other quilting motifs that are included in the book, and I wouldn't be surprised if this turns into one of your favorite quilts to make when you are short on time. The custom quilting plan is called Fire and Ice, and it's much easier to stitch than it looks. It's all about adding texture to your quilt to hide the imperfections, and you can choose how loose or densely you'd like to quilt it. Now the third and final pattern included in the book is called Pinwheel Tessellations. Use up your favorite pre-cut strips or scraps from your stash when you try out one of the three different colorways. The walking foot plan is literally the easiest design you can quilt. You simply can't go wrong by stitching wavy lines across your quilt. They are fast, fun, and foolproof. And the best part is there's no marking involved whatsoever. Simply follow the seam lines as a guide or quilt them more randomly. The choice is completely up to you. For the free motion plan, I decided to quilt a funky edge to edge motif that I call crackle. Here's a fun fact. I've actually designed a couple of fabrics of the same name, but can you guess which came first, the fabric design or the quilting motif? I'll never tell. Sometimes my quilting inspires my fabric design and sometimes it's the other way around. For the final custom quilting plan, I pulled out all the stops. I quilted a different motif in each of the rows of pinwheel blocks. This quilting plan is called Angles and Curves because I took turns switching between angular geometric designs and softer curving motifs in every other row. 
when I'm on the road teaching, I've noticed that some of my students really like the soft curvy designs, while others love the modern edgy look of those geometrics, so I wanted to give you plenty of ways to practice both. I call this quilt my machine quilting sampler. It's a great way to practice your skills, and when you quilt on busy fabrics, no one is ever gonna notice your imperfections. The gallery of machine quilting designs includes dozens more ideas stitched out on regular quilt blocks with plenty of diagrams so you can see how to work your way around the seams and learn how different thread colors are gonna affect the overall look. Don't those quilts look fun to make? My book, How Do I Quilt It, will answer that question for you so that you'll have success too. I'm basically giving you all the tools that you'll need to successfully make a quilt from start to finish. Best of all, when you get the book and implement the techniques, I'm here to cheer you on every step of the way. It's going to make you a better machine quilter, I promise.